So what is it about children that makes them innocent? Um, hell. Yeah, I know, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I believe that when we were children ourselves, we, we can relate to the ignorance that we have to the wider world. Wow. And I feel like the bliss that we get from ignorance is what makes children seem innocent, wow. arguably. Well, how about you? Who says ch children are innocent? Well, hey, flipping, the, flipping the coin on its head. They're innocent to an extent, yeah? <laughs> they might be naughty for their parents, but you would agree that they're vulnerable and... Would you say that being vulnerable is the same thing as being innocent? I think it's uh, a part of being innocent. Hmm. Would you agree? Um, I suppose in some sense you could say that, yeah. So, uh, it, with being vulnerable and innocent, mean it would mean that you know that would need someone to protect them, you know, to look after them, to guard them as uh, as guardians. You know, children are vulnerable, like they're they're easily attacked if someone could attack them. You know, things like that. That would would, would be what make you would make a child vulnerable, yeah. Yep, I would I would agree. You agree with that? Yeah. So do you think in society we, we, we have a moral obligation to stand up for those who are more innocent, more vulnerable? I do believe so, yeah. Yeah, yeah yes. you would agree with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Most people would, I mean, this yeah. is just basically general you know, ethics yeah. for a society. I was waiting for you to catch this out. But so, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, exactly. no, exactly, it's fine. So what about animals? Do you feel that animals are vulnerable and innocent too? They are, yeah. They it's are? Because it's, sim it's quite similar. Like, by naturally, bigger animals are more able to protect themselves. Yeah. Small children, which haven't grown as much, are inherently less able to protect themselves, aren't they? Okay. So they are vulnerable. Do you agree that Yeah, so defending are themselves as well is part do you of feel it. Like, um, do you feel like animals, they trust us to look after them, to nurture them? Uh, it depends on the individual animal, okay. I think. Uh, so, like, a dog would probably trust its owner. Yeah. Um, yeah, but then, you know, you get smaller animals, like, I'm pretty sure, like, a rabbit. Okay. I mean, does a rabbit really feel, well, have trust? Or what is, what is trust? Well, let's just say that they, feel, they, they would feel safe around someone who was nurturing them, feeding them, you know, uh, showing them love and compassion. The animal would feel that, yeah? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, generally that's what happens, you know. Let's talk about dogs for a while. If you've seen someone hurting a dog, um, treating a dog unfairly, um, being cruel to the dog, would you try to intervene or say something? Yeah. Yeah, you would? Yeah. I used to have two dogs, so definitely, yeah. Definitely, so that they feel, it feels like the dogs are close to your heart, they were your companions. Yeah, they, are. they are, they are close okay. to my heart. So, you, do you think um, dogs are, are different to any other animal in the way they uh, feel pain and want to live and, ha and uh, feel things like happiness and desire? Um, different to any other animal. Like, well, let's just talk about pigs. Um, I'd say there are similarities with pigs, but they're, yeah, they're, I'd, um, I mean, then it gets into kind of the science of like how intelligent each one is, I think, and it's hard to compare. So, uh, pigs intelligent? I think for, for animals, pigs can be quite What about compared to a dog? Um, I mean, I'm not a psychologist. Okay. But, um, but I, I mean... I think they're, they're not they're, they're closer than maybe people would think. So a lot of the science is uh, pointing to the fact that pigs are more intelligent than dogs. Would you think that's a genuine? Yeah, yeah I, I believe that. Yeah, you believe that? Yeah. He's a scientist. I agree with what he says. <laughs> okay, so um, you would you would intervene if someone hurt a dog, but would you intervene if someone would hurt a pig? Uh, yeah. If, so, if someone was standing there hurting a pig just for the pure joy of pure joy of hurting a pig, you would. Yeah. How about yourself? I don't think pigs and dogs are, I can see where you're going with this because, yeah. but I don't think pigs and dogs are, are the same. I think we should bring that, bring that up because culturally it's become a lot more acceptable for pain of pigs in the sense of making them as food. But in the Western world at least, we don't see dogs in the same way. We don't see dogs as food, we see pigs as food. Why is but that? Because we, we as humans, we've developed, we developed an emotional attach, attachment to dogs. Okay. Because, as I said, I had two dogs. Lots of people have dogs as okay. pets. They're easily trained as pets. Okay. But pigs are not really the same. That's a great point. So do you think that just because we have an emotional attachment to someone, that means uh, they deserve more moral consideration than someone we don't like? So let's just say, put it in a human context. Uh, so a person there, we don't know them. Does that mean we've got the right to do what we want to them? It doesn't. It doesn't mean that at all. No. But 
but it's become acceptable, which is probably wrong. Okay. So a lot of things in the past were acceptable that were morally wrong. Would you agree with that? Definitely, yeah. Like what? Like what? Slavery used to be acceptable, definitely morally wrong. It was legal with two, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So just because... So where I'm actually going with this, which is... You, you know where I'm going with this. We yeah. treat some animals one way and other animals it's okay to kill and eat. Okay? Um, we draw an arbitrary line. Is that true? Yeah, true. These animals are okay to care for, love for. These ones we can put in the gas chamber, bolt gun them in the head, chop them up to oh, pieces, yeah. okay? This is our society. So do you think there's any hypocrisy in that? Um, hypocrisy. <laughs> hypocrisy is not the word I would use. No, I, wrong, I wrong, would. You yes. say, would you say? Well, I'll put it to this way: you, you would, you would desire to live a life without suffering, without most human beings would. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you think it's hypocritical to deny that to an animal? Um, I mean, so. I mean, I, I'd think that if you're going to farm animals, they should ideally live a life without, well, with as little suffering as you can have. Okay. So I think that's still the goal. The thing that you then kill them, ideally again painlessly, without suffering, and then eat them. I think that's that's different to um, to the to the kind of the state of yeah. uh, animal ag animal agriculture as as it is. Do you think that happens? No pain, no pain, no suffering, just a quick oh, no. death? I, no, I, I'm aware that that doesn't happen, yeah, and I'm not going to be naive about that, but like, um, in, you know, in, in an ideal world, okay. that's like what my view... How about a vegan world? Would that be more ideal for the animal? No, no, no death at all? Um, I think, I guess you get, there's, there's, arguably yeah, because then I guess they'd be set free, right? But then for a lot of, like for a species, um, I think if the whole world became vegan, that'd be terrible for some species. For like, for well, how cows in general, the cow population would plummet because people wouldn't be trying to keep them all alive. Do you know how many cows there are on Earth right now? Uh, not, not down to the exact one. Okay, let's just say there's 56 billion land animals on Earth. Yeah. Do you know why there's that many land animals, uh, farmed animals on Earth? Um, I. Uh, I you think it was natural? They just bred into existence. No, I think we're, we're, we're breeding them into existence yeah. to eat. So, do you think that is healthy and su sustainable for the Earth? Where, where do they get their food from? The animals obviously have to fit, eat plants, yeah. don't they? Sust sustainability, uh, uh, environment-wise, having loads and loads of animals is, 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 yeah, is... Is unnecessary? Yes. Unsustainable? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, how about this? If we could uh, live, be, live happily and healthy, healthy lives by eating plants, there would be no animal harm, no animal suffering, no animal death, or a great reduction. Animal, wait, yeah. wait, a great reduction as, as best as we could do, because obviously by living, we displace some of the wildlife. That's yeah. just uh, without killing ourselves. That's just the reality of our existence. So it's more sustainable for the environment, and arguably plants are the healthiest foods on the planet. So why would we choose something that's so unnecessary, so cruel, when we've got all these other options. Um, I don't think I don't think that the cruelty towards the animal. Well, again, you know, I don't think that the fact us eating animals is. Um, I don't think just only the ethical concerns need to be taken into account with that. What about all the other concerns I just raised? Uh, Does that strengthen well, the like argument? Envi like envir environmental. Yeah, and health. Uh, and health. Well, I mean, there's, I mean, there's not, you can't say that meat, meat is categorically unhealthy. It, what about saturated fat and cholesterol? Those things are bad. And they are in meat, yeah? Uh, I'd agree that, yeah, they're in, they're in okay. meat. But there's also so, benefits. But, but there's also, there, benefits. There's there's other also, in meat there's also well. protein in meat. You can't, you can't but there's there's protein there's in there's beans protein too. In but, but then some people but like... But then the taste is what you've got to consider people like the taste of meat. Ah, so we're at taste. That's a great point because this is where I feel uh, people have most of the argument here is where they say, they value their taste yeah, yeah. over an animal's life, and that's so that five minutes that burger's in your mouth. Okay, this is the animal's whole life. Do you think that that's justified? Isn't that? I, I don't want to sound sandwich? too cool, but isn't that evolution? Evolution? Isn't that um, survival of the fittest to a step? Like a lions? Extent? Do we should we justify our behaviour on, on what's happening in nature, or should we maybe? Does that always mean what's ethical? Like a lot of bad things happen in nature. True. A lot of bad things happen when we were evolving. 
I mean, whole civilizations were uh, pillaged and raped, you know, that doesn't mean that was justified or we should continue doing that. Is that true? True. So do you think if there's a better way, maybe we should opt for that? We should certainly all consider the better way more, admittedly. <laughs> so by our own admission, we agree that, you know, animals are vulnerable, they're innocent. Yeah. It's not justified to do what we do to them for food. And there are. No, that's, uh, that's, that's the jump that's then. Oh, just, right? so, so justify it. Yeah, the just like justification for killing animals, billions and billions and billions for no reason other than they taste good. Can you justify that? I don't think the only reason is that they taste good. Well, what would be the reason for it? It's. I mean, it. So. I feel like I feel like a lot of the a lot of the points you're making. Yeah. Are um like this is an undeniable truth. This is an undeniable truth. This is an undeniable truth. Add them all together, therefore nobody should eat meat, right? I think the strongest argument is you wouldn't want that treatment yourself. So to deny an animal of that or to treat another being in a way that you wouldn't be, want to be treated is a double standard. And you know what I'm saying? Like you, if someone was hurting you, I would stand up for you. I think, but I think then you have to, you do have to draw a line between humans and animals. Yeah. I think there is, there is. A, okay, there might be some there. differences, but what have we got in common? We both, um, we all want to live in peace. We desire to have a family, to, to live a life without suffering or enslavement. Is that true of both of us? Of both of us? Animals and humans. Um, uh, I mean, it get, then you, you, you know, you get, end up getting into debate of like, you know, does an animal uh, want that necessarily? Then also, there's also a point about, um, so, so you say this about animals and veganism, yeah. well, let's not exploit animals for what we want. Yeah. So, for example, the clothes we're all wearing, well, probably people have been exploited, not in the same way, they haven't been killed off for it, but people have been exploited okay. in order for us to enjoy this. And we say, oh, yeah. well, what's the benefit of that? We could all just spend a lot, well, we could have like things made much more ethically that end up costing a lot more. But it's like, oh, no, but I don't really want to spend 50 quid on that t-shirt, I'd rather spend 20. You raise a really good point. There are more ethical ways to live than just veganism itself, but why should we, why should we cause the maximum amount of harm when when we don't have to. We're not causing the maximum amount. By eating um, all these animal products that we don't need, we could just stick to plants and then maybe there's other ethical issues that could be risen, you know, like more ethical clothing options, for, uh, you know, but why should we cause all this animal suffering on top of that when it's not necessary? There's alternatives, you know what I mean? That we've got other stuff we can eat. Yeah, but Animal suffering isn't, you're, you're trying to make animal suffering seem the same as human suffering, which I think is... In, in, well, what about a dog? What about your dogs, bro? My dog, I still, wouldn't, I would still wouldn't say a dog's the same as a human. But you would say that they deserve a life without suffering, without slavery, yeah? But, but still, if I choose between a dog and a human, I would always choose the but human. But there is, but we, we don't have to. We, all we have to do is between, choose between plants and animals. That's why, that's why I believe we should probably investigate how to make this more practical on a wide scale for everyone. And okay. that's why I'm saying we should investigate, but we can't just commit to it yet unless people actually are aware themselves. Because in this okay. kind of issue, people need to actively make the decision. So, what about you with this conversation here? Is that making you more aware? It's making me definitely have a think. I'm going to have a Google when I go home. Think about it from your dog's perspective. If someone was rounding them up, by the, breathing them by the billions, putting them in trucks and sending them to a slaughterhouse, that would make you feel what? If I had no emotional attachment to the dogs, I mean, it happens in China, doesn't it? I, okay. I, I don't see it as that big an issue, personally. What if it was humans, if you didn't have no it's emotional not, attachment? Yeah, but it's then not there's humans. the line, then there's the line. There's a line. So there's a line between humans and animals, yeah. Yeah. that's where you draw it? Well, but you wouldn't like to see something... Up, there's, there's something like, you, I, don't think, I don't think you can, you can call um, farming on an industrial scale the same as rounding up millions of people and killing them. That's not, that's not. That's not what happens to animals? I'm just, that's what happens to animals, but it's not as, like, you're, you're, you, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't. Is that a double standard? Like if, if, so, I'm, I'm not Jewish, right? But if I was, I think I'd be quite offended by the fact that you're, um... I like never said saying, nothing about Jews, by the way. No, no, of course, you didn't. This is a hypothetical yeah, scenario yeah. to help you see the hypocrisy yeah. and the double standard. I, I, I I'm think... I'm not trying to offend... No, uh, no, no, anyway. I understand, I understand. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not... Okay, I'm not. I'm not saying anything like. I know really. where you're going, though. Yeah, right. It's not. I, you can't. I don't think. I. I think people would be very offended by. Though? I'm trying to put it in the human context so you empathise. And I think. I think that's the wrong way to go about trying to get me to empathise. Because okay, I think well, but the, I tried dogs with him. He had pet dogs. I've got pet dogs as well. You got pet dogs. Yeah. What if someone put your dog in the gas chamber and chopped them up for bacon? 
Oh uh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. no. Obviously, I'd be very okay. upset, right? Because I've got an emotional attachment to my dog. Yeah, yeah. but, it's but my like, dog. it's different to some dogs in China, which someone else is eating. Because they don't have an emotional oh, yeah. attachment. But then you get, oh, where's the where's the difference between your dogs and their dogs? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the the individual dog. It's not all about us. This is what I'm trying to get people to be altruistic and think about. The, yeah. the individual, because issues of justice should always be looked at from the victim's perspective, not the oppressor's. Is that true? Yes. Like, you know, normal issues of justice. Um, we, we say, how did it make the victim feel? That's how you would judge it, yeah? That's not the only way you can judge it. But it is in, the in, in a human context, uh, it's far more important to look at things from the victim's perspective, because they... So, in my opinion, humans are... Uh, and the human experience is more valuable than an animal, an animal's experience of like its existence. But um, but then when you bring in uh, farming, there you can't make an argument or the entirety of an argument based solely upon uh, the animals have this experience and that is clearly bad and then they're killed off. So like, that's all very much one way, right? There's, uh, there is, uh, there's got to be, there's got to be some, you know, other flip side. Where I'd love to hear the justification for this treatment of animals. I'd love to hear one good reason why, when we've got alternatives. Like, why should we do it to them? They've done nothing wrong to us. They've done nothing wrong to you, you or me. Maybe one of us was viciously attacked by a pig one day. No, they, pigs never attacked anyone, had they? Like a cow or chicken, they're so innocent and vulnerable. And they trust us, and we betray them. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think I think it's, it's unfair to ask me to come up with like a whole a whole argument on the spot. I'm just wondering why I mean, you think it's okay. The reason we do it ultimately, when we make a decision, what we're doing is we're just doing a cost-benefit analysis. The benefits is that we, it's, it's an entirely selfish reason why we don't do that. Thank admittedly. you for being honest, man. It's a selfish reason, but. Is it wrong to be selfish is then what you've got to ask. Is well, if, if only if someone else is going to be hurt because of it. Like, cause only if like, your, your selfish actions hurt someone else. If, if I, if, but if, if I have no emotional attachment to the pig that's getting hurt, then it doesn't affect me personally. So that's why I can eat ham and not feel any, any guilt. Well, you know, sometimes, that, do, do you think that would be justified in any other context, what you just said there? Just because it doesn't hurt you personally, it's okay to go out and do whatever we want to others? No, because you're about to draw. You're about to compare no. it to humans again. No, your dogs. I'll compare it to your dogs. Do dogs are different. So if I come and hurt your dogs, it doesn't matter because it didn't. It? Dogs have. What do they have that pigs don't have? I think they do have more rights than pigs. Why? In, in, in a legal system. Because that's what the law says. They do. Well, do you think that is? Do you think the law is always just? Do you think the law is always moral? No, 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 no. We established that, we didn't established we? Established this. So, but what is the justification for doing this to pigs? It's okay if you can't no, find no, one because no, I've, I've no, tried. I've tried no for a long time. No human has an emotional attachment to the pig that just so got slaughtered. Your argument is that emotional attachment determines how we should treat issues of justice. Emotional attachment, whether you like someone, whether you like think, whether you have an emotional attachment to a certain dog, or, a, or even a human. A child, the most innocent and vulnerable. Not necessarily justice, but it does determine our decisions, doesn't it? But it doesn't make it right, does it? That's what I'm asking, whether you I think it's I right or wrong. I didn't say it was right, though, did I? I said that we're selfish. If we're, if we're trying to be altruistic, yeah. then, then yes, okay, you could argue you shouldn't do it. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm arguing that humans aren't altruistic people. And is that a problem? It depends if you can want it. it depends, I, I is that a problem you, in our society? About, I can't tell you about the sustainability of it really. Do you think if we were less selfish, more altruistic, more compassionate and cared about individuals like like something that you might consider uh, in insignificant, like farmed animals. If we cared more about farm animals, would we not care more about all individuals and if we cared about their suffering, we maybe we wouldn't turn a blind, uh, blind eye to all suffering. Do you think um, this sort of selfish mentality breeds a society full of me, me, me and not looking at others? I think humans are inherently inherently set up to be selfish. So no, I don't think I don't think that at all. I don't think you are, mate. I think you're thinking more about this now. I think everyone's got compassion in the heart. It's just you have to you have to oh, yeah, open I that have part. Compassion in my heart too, but. Yeah. But I think you could argue that compassion in itself is selfish because you're doing it because when you do something, when you do something of 
benefit to wider society. That in but, turn but what also it? has benefit to you. Men, you, you feel like you've done something good. It gives you that sense of yeah, of and you're doing good purpose. to another too. So, so it's a win-win. Compassion's a win-win. Selfish is just a win and lose. But yeah, if, less. Of, which which one's more logical to you, compassion or being selfish? Which one feels more more well, right? If if humans are rational people, so they're they're only selfish at the end of the day. That's what that's what studies show in this kind of situation with with pigs being slaughtered. We'll with, leave with we'll leave it with you with, with you guys though. Has your position changed since this conversation about issues of justice when animals are involved? No, no. You would still continue to eat them. Mm -hmm. Nothing's changed. No. I don't I don't believe you. Something in your eyes is saying you're thinking about it. No. No, not at all. Yourself. It hasn't changed, but I'll, I'll look into it for my own personal interest. All right, I'll I give you a card because that was a really interesting debate with you guys. Thank you. Um, there's some inf information on the back, some resources. You can do a 22-day vegan challenge if you want to try it. And, you know, after that 22 days, yeah. see if you feel any better. Here, here's some resources for you too. Are you going to now... <laughs> you're now going to cut that and edit to make us look like complete yeah. No, not at all. I can, just, I can just see, like, the question and then just the silence. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. I think that was a very productive conversation myself. I think that's one of the best I've had. Just oh, cool. because... I would back us, to be fair. I'd back oh. us to have a decent conversation. No, like, I think that was a productive conversation. I think we got somewhere and we thought about it. We thought about things we don't think about, which is... Yeah, th yeah. That's all I can do. I can only plant some yeah. seeds and lead you to something. And it's up to you what you do from here on. Yeah, you no, might not change... It's certainly an interesting conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah There are very difficult questions there. They are difficult really questions. I'm, I'm and it's good you've got to ask about. yourself, why aren't they easy to answer these questions? That's what I'm going to give yeah. you. Google it, man, but just Google it in here, bro. That's all you need to use. <laughs> the World Wide Web has more answers than, than in there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thanks heaps, guys. I'll, I'll, Thank you very I'll much. I appreciate that more um, than you know.